Hi guys, this video is a complement of a post that I did in my blog. Uh, it's about scores and linked data and libraries. So yeah, the link of, to the post should be down here. And the, if you are seeing it is in the YouTube, you can go to my post and see, and see it. And can, you can read that. So the point here is that scores is an ontology that you use it to create taxonomy, controlled vocabularies, and stuff like that. Uh, things that are very familiar for us, librarians. Uh, and this is a, a, a picture that I can use to give you a very high level explanation about the scores. So scores is basically a, a way that, an ontology that allows you to uh, make concepts link to each other. So you have, for example, we have this blue concept, blue circle in the in the middle that represents a concept, and it's linked to the orange one, and the orange one is supposed to be a broader term for the blue circle, for the blue concept. You have a related, uh, related, related concept as well that is uh, this purple circle down here. And you have the yellow circles that are narrow terms, and you have the green that is a scheme itself. So the idea of this of this video is show you guys a proof of concept that I can use this kind of approach to make suggestion for my user in the web interface. So let's go ahead and see my project right here. My project is a project based on the it's it's done in Angular 2 and Node.js. So yeah, so we can come here and to start dogs. Uh, service CTS is a TypeScript, but uh, I would like you guys don't pay a lot of attention in the TypeScript and JavaScript and Angular stuff. Just concentrate here in this orange thing that is my Sparkle query. It's the way that Sparkle my triple store where I stored my taxonomy. Uh, in this case, I'm using a community version of Stardog. It's a triple store that you can use and download if you want. Maybe in the future, I can do a post about how to get the, how to upload a taxonomy, how to get the, the Stardog running and stuff. Uh, then, okay, my taxonomy is pretty, straightforward so yeah and my carry here is 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 what i just said i mean i have a, a one first part that i'm consumed uh, that i'm carrying the author part of auto schema of my taxonomy so basically i i carry the preference label i carry the alternate the alternative alternative label and the related the label as well and do the same thing for the topics, right? Uh, and my taxonomy, I have this, is 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 not even taxonomy, just example. But I have here, for example, I have the concept right here that's called malaria. So and the malaria, it have the alternative label like malaria, paludismo, and in paludismo, there's is there are alternative label for malaria. Here I have also a related term. So this 0005 is actually this term right here, and this is actually a mosquito, and it's called Anopheles. Anopheles is the mosquito that transmits the malaria itself. And uh, I also have a, a, a concept right here that is but it is in another schema, this is a schema for authors, and the name of the author is Luis Malaria. <laughs> okay, so we can go and go to our, my Pupar install, not my Pupar, I'm sorry, my Stardog installation, and here I can select uh, the subject, and the predicate, and, and the object of this taxonomy. Uh, okay. Basically, in this Sparkle query, if you don't read my post about Sparkle query, you can go there and, and check that. But basically, in that Sparkle query, I'm just asking everything that the database has. 
so I'm kind of that and it's coming everything right here so yeah it's a lot of things so uh, about the application that I developed is this one right here so I have this combo box is supposed to be a, uh, a, a search and you should have the but the button search here or another way to search I don't know but the point is that if I come here and type malaria you guys can see that I get the preference label for malaria I get the alternative labels as well I get the related term the, the related concept and I also have the Louis malaria that's not related to the other concept but it's met as well so yeah, my point in this concept is show you guys a way to use link data, at least a way that I s see how to use that in libraries. Um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, and if you guys have any question, please contact me. And again, the if you just come on this thing on YouTube and is not understand anything that I'm say, please look in the description and there is a, a link to my blog and i hope it get more clear for you guys so yeah thank you for watching and see you later